today in GTA 5 there is a massive fire burning out of control in a warehouse at the docks. Due to the extremely flammable liquid stored at this location, such as fuel, oil, and chemicals, the fire quickly grew out of control and is threatening both life and property. 911 calls state that civilians are trapped inside by fire and smoke. Dispatchers assigned firefighters from several firehouses to respond to this dangerous call. Let's see if they can save everyone, including their own, before it's too late. Alright guys, we are getting a update from dispatch. Looks like there's going to be one victim inside that still needs to be rescued, as well as a hazardous container inside that we need to find and remove it before it goes BOOM! So ladder four, we are en route to the call. Looks like this one is going to be down at the docks. Oh wow, we are over a mile away and I'm hearing the explosions. This is going to be a very dangerous call here. There goes another explosion popping off and I can see the smoke. We have a lot of smoke pushing out of this one. Man, that thing is exploding like every 10 seconds. What is inside this warehouse? Oh, nearly lost it. We're good, we're good. All right, we're gonna be on scene. Looks like we have the police department is here, battalion chief, other engines, tower ladders, and we have a hydrant here, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is set up about right here. Put out our outriggers, ladder up, and we are going straight to the roof, guys. Now, I don't see too much fire up there, honestly, but let's spray a little bit of water in there just to kind of knock out any fire. Whoa, possibly, but you know what? We got to get inside, so I'm going to put the ladder up to about right there, ladder to the roof, and we are going inside the fire. Let's grab a supply line and a hydrant wrench, and we're gonna hook up to this hydrant right here. Gotta get that thing opened up. Man, there's so many explosions. We gotta get in there. Looks like the engine team has a deck gun in operation, but we're gonna have to grab a line and get in there. All right, we're going in, guys. SCBA on. I'm gonna let them worry about the fire on the outside. I'm going in. We got cars in here. The cars are probably exploding. Oh, we got a lot of these bug start cars. Oh, there goes one. That one's up. This one's up. Now, remember, main objective here, guys. We got to find people in here. We got to get people out of here. And then we also have to um, find that hazmat container, too. So we have a lot of cars blowing up. I'm just going to try to focus on finding the victim. Oh, I think I got him. Or her. Right, let's pick her up. Ladder four to command. We have one fire victim. We're moving her to the front of the building now. Do we have an ambulance on scene yet? Oh yes, we have an ambulance. Okay, so we're gonna drop her off with the ambulance and let them work on her. We made the grab. And we still have a lot of explosions. So those are probably all the cars going off. So I'm gonna try to put those out and we also have to find that container and work on that too. Yeah, all of these cars are toast. All right, what I'm gonna do, let's up the water pressure. All right, the hose is running at maximum pressure, guys. There so many explosions in here, this is crazy. That must be every band by now. Would have been nice to try to save them, but now we have to find that hazmat container and try to remove that. But I want to just try to get some of this fire out. Oh, you know what we have to do too? We got to ventilate this. Let's head up to the roof and do some ventilate. I mean, realistically though, I mean, this is a wide open structure, so, so we wouldn't really need to ventilate. But in the sense of how the mod works, we need to get to the roof and ventilate to get some of the smoke. Oh, whoa, that was a big one. Oh, we got a firefighter down, firefighter. Oh, we got two firefighters down. Oh boy, activate the RIT team. I'm gonna need an ambulance, another ambulance. We got a firefighter down. Two firefighters going down. Where's my third guy at, my fourth guy? Ah, uh, shoot, activate the RIT team. 
Damn it. We lost two firefighters in there. Going back in for the other one. Looks like one of them stayed with the victim over there. He's working on them. Oh, man. This is not good. How did they get hurt? They were behind me, and they got hurt. And I didn't even get hurt. Dang it. This is going from bad to worse. Don't drive in there, please. Y'all gonna catch on fire and blow up. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Okay. Yo, what happened to my firefighter? Didn't I just drop the first one there? Yo, they're really driving inside the fire. I'm gonna let them go in there and see what happens to them. If they blow up, that'll be crazy. I don't know how the other firefighter just disappeared. Like, I don't know, that was weird. All right, here comes the ambulance. I'm just staying here to make sure this one doesn't disappear so that they can see him. And remember guys, we gotta get up to the roof too. All right. Ambulance is on scene. They're working on him, hopefully he makes it. I'm gonna head up to the roof, do some ventilation. We're on the roof. Let some of that smoke out. Now it says the roof is vented, so we can head back down. Oh, it looks like they were able to rescue the firefighter. They're putting him into the ambulance, so hopefully he will be okay. We just got an update from the paramedics. Looks like the uh, the lady that we pulled out of the uh, warehouse looks like she's okay, and they're transporting her now. So that's good. No update on our second firefighter. He just disappeared. I don't know what happened, but you can see the paramedics transporting the lady back there. Oh, we can see. It is much clearer now, as you guys can see. So yeah, venting definitely helped out. Oh, look at these things blowing up. Oh, this one looks like it's about to blow up. It's propane. Let's cool that down. Gotta cool it, cool it, cool it so it don't blow. Yeah, so this is a pest control company, guys. Lots of chemicals and chemicals go boom. That one was pretty close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. <laughs> this is like crazy. This is the most explosions I've ever heard out of fire. Okay, I think we have most of the... Why are they in here too? <laughs> My guy just got knocked down. Yo, why do y'all want to drive through a fire scene? It's a bad idea. Yo, did they hit my fire? Yo, get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, I feel like we stopped all the fire in here. I'm gonna back out my line, and we'll work on that hazmat container now. We still have stuff exploding. I don't know how. Maybe it's hot in here? So we have our thermal camera and... Oh, whoa. Okay, we still have some fire over here. Where, I could have sworn we put that out. Okay, so there's still a little bit of fire over here. We gotta come back and work on that. But it looks like we have some fire on the roof too. So we gotta go up to the roof again, put out that fire. All right, so... Whoa. Well, let's get that cleared up. I think we located the hazmat canister, so let's go ahead and pick that up. And let's get that out of here. Yo, imagine that thing in our hand blows up like what just blew up over there. So let's get this away from anything that is potentially flammable. Right here should be perfect. Just kidding, we do not want that giant tank to blow up. If that blows up, this docks is going bye-bye. So yeah, let's put this far away from anything. Maybe just right here in the middle of the road. Okay, I think that's scared. So, we're going in again. We need a line. And then we also have to get up to the roof. And knock out that fire up there. There is no water left in the tank. How? How is there no water we're connected to a hydrant? Oh, uh, I know how I um I turned the pump off. That's why. Whoa! Why is that box shaking? What is in the box? 
you guys see how it's moving like that? Are you serious? What was in the box? Wow. Hey sir, we are back from the dead and we are pissed off because something in that box killed me and another firefighter and we want to know why. So the fire was eventually put out by other firefighters on the scene, but I came back and I want to know what was in this one box as that thing was just shaking like crazy. Like, I don't know. It does say handle with care on it. It was, it was this box here and we dragged it out and it was just shaking. So let me know guys, what do you think was in this box? I, I don't know. It, it was very crazy. It's not even marked like hazmat or flammable or anything so i feel like we gotta get the uh the whatchamacallit the fire marshals involved with this because that is just ridiculous so leave your guesses down below in the comment section but yeah guys let me know if you enjoyed the episode by hitting that like button leaving some comments subscribing if you're new turning on notifications as well so you can be notified whenever we post a new video